Of course, I have yet to go to that mid-century booth I always get in trouble at. We are approaching danger zone. All right, all right. Nothing's really popping out. Of course, this is what popped out at me first. <laughs> and it's not for sale. <clears throat> Head vase is still there. Seems to always be head vases like that here. Uh, maybe that's why I'm not as quick to jump on them. This is kind of neat. <laughs> like that. I've had stuff like this before. Seven dollars. Not bad. The last couple I've bought like that didn't sell that great though. And then they got this huge macrame owl. I really can't stand the texture of that though. I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to deal with it. It's just very unpleasant to the touch. And there's those metal works we saw last time. And of course, I'm still a big fan of that, but it was a little pricey for me. Glass pairs are kind of different. Huh. Ooh, okay. What do we have here? All right, pink elephant whiskey glasses, five for $55 and $55 for that. Okay, that's actually really fair price. I don't think it leaves enough room for resale though. I mean, I could make a couple bucks off of it, but not enough for me to uh, dish out $55, especially not today. Yeah, this Hazel Atlas with the uh, pink elephants and the stars is a super desirable pattern. I've always been a big fan. I mean, pink stars and elephant, say no more. And I've actually never seen this piece in person. I feel like, is it supposed to have a top or something though? Hmm. All right, so I'm looking over here before I give up entirely, the coal owl. These coal figurines never really do that well for me. Um, this is not really my thing, but I find it very interesting. And I know I kind of bash glass baskets, but this one's pretty, I've never seen a handle like that. The moon and stars, it's cool, but $20, I don't, it's not for me. Let's see, what else they have going on in here? They always have such unique stuff in here. Is this a, what is going on? Print price. This is Taiwan. That's like 80s. Hmm. I don't know. Might uh, might leave empty-handed from this booth today. They have some really great hobnail milk glass pieces here. But uh, just wait. Set up for twelve dollars. That's kind of a great price, isn't it? Dang. This, this is, yeah, a set of four 12 box. Hmm, I might, uh, those are kind of cool. Let me, let me look up what these sell for because I'm honestly not familiar. So I could definitely make money off of it. Here's its problem though. Uh, my shop ships free in the United States, 35 and over. These have a lot of weight to them. Um, I was unfamiliar with uh, the white milk glass just because I don't, usually I see white and I think, meh, move on. But these were kind of neat and the price was uh, pretty cheap. So whereas I could make money on them, I wouldn't want to sell them on my Etsy because I probably could get like maybe $10 for one each. So when you say $40, then you have to say, if someone bought all of them together, I gotta factor in shipping and packing, and I'm gonna, it basically ended up coming out to $28, um, which is uh, only like $15 in profit after all is said and done. So I'm gonna move on. They're very cool though. Now this, on the other hand, this little three-footed, vase that is very different it's almost like photorealism the painting it's kind of cool and it's hand painted in japan is it broken no for five bucks i'm gonna grab that oh look at that 
Um, okay, couple things going on here. One, this. That is really unique. But this is what I was really freaking out about. Um, I do see a couple of the stems missing. Handmade in Italy. Wow. I'm gonna look that up, that is very cool. All right, so I wasn't even able to find one quite like this. Um, it's very cool, but I'm also now noticing that they know exactly what it is because it says $75 and it's broken. So I'm going to carefully uh, <laughs> flip this guy back over, calm down, put the lid back on, and just admire it from a distance. Now, um, this is uh, very kind of cool actually, even though it's clear. Hmm, I really spaced out there. <laughs> I've, I've lost some time in this uh, antique mall today. This is cool. Yeah, I'm kind of getting all over the place, aren't I? I'm just, I'm glad I'm picking up different stuff, though. It's good to be different every once in a while. Well, it's always good to be different, but that's kind of cool, too. All right, let me reel it in. Killing, burning daylight over here. And then I also noticed this little, what's going on here? It is unfortunately broken. And of course, I'm now just noticing that it is 30% off. So the white hobnail glasses are actually, let me get another basket. This is kind of out of hand. Actually, $8 for the set. I am, um, I'm just going to get them. Why not? I officially need to start reeling it in. I don't know how I ended up with multiple baskets, <laughs> but I need to uh, speed this trip up. So I'm ready to go on my next spot. Whoa, well, that's something you don't see every day. This booth has such unique stuff, but the prices are a little too high for me as a reseller. As a collector, there's definitely a couple things that grab my attention in here. Oh, so cool, I love those. They think they're so pretty, the St. Teresa's. Speaking of things I normally don't pick up, I couldn't help but notice this booth was not here before. Now, I don't know if I'm in like a weird mood today, but this divided dish really caught my attention and it's only $2. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And I also noticed this uh, kind of drip pottery. It's only a dollar. It does, uh, does it have any, anything wrong with it? I mean, it's got like a tiny little nick here. It's only a dollar though. Good grief, what is going on? Is it me? I don't wanna get it with a nick. I'm gonna leave it. I've found enough. I'm also weirdly into this though. Am I in a strange mood today? I don't know, but it's different and it's only $4. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm kind of attracted to that. This is kind of cool too, but I don't think uh, that's really for me. <laughs> what is going on with me today? Look at this. This is so fun. I love that so much. It's $10. Do I see a discount in this booth? Unfortunately, I have gone well over my budget. I'd love to pick this up, but for $10, I can't really justify that today. What about this one? This one's only five. It's kind of fun, but not as exciting comparably. <sighs> more pottery over here five bucks that's kind of cool this is definitely cool too look at that two dollars that's definitely on the newer side but for two dollars it's really unique i'm gonna grab that does that say two dollars it does huh i'm getting out there today you guys whoa look at these stackable Japanese dish. Those are very cool. I love that pattern. $25 is definitely fair, but for me, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really out of my wheelhouse, but it's all right. It's not that, it's not the worst thing I could do. What's going on here? This is fun. I've had stuff like that before. The hobbyist. 
This was only five dollars. But uh, should I get it? Should I get it? And they have a purple one too. I've kind of gotten out of hand. That one's got some damage. I don't want that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh my gosh. Shut the front door. How much is this? 28. Dang, dude. Look at this. I've never seen one that size before. Man, I'm really tempted to get that. I just don't know if I can justify spending that much on it. Especially that it's got nicks and stuff. For a collector, this is a gem. For resale, I could only make a little bit off of it, I think. So I'm just gonna leave it as painful as that is. And then they have the mushroom. $10 each, not bad. Fair, but considering all the things I've found, yeah, I've kind of gotten out there, haven't I? I am cutting myself off and checking out. I'll see you guys outside. <laughs> this was not what I was meaning to do, I promise. Well, I got really weird about the terracotta, uh, terracotta fish and I was going to put it back and I saw a case full of stuff I wanted to look at, so stay tuned. I don't know how I managed to miss this entire case. I'm actually not going to go for the uh, Lefton chicks or, ooh, the duckling's only $4 though. What was it? The, the, of course, the poodle planter had my attention and the swivel sticks, but it was this planter that I need to grab. Well, that got real nutty real quick. I did not expect to do that. Uh, I ended up getting a few more things from that case, which I'll show off in the haul video. I was kind of ready to get out of there. I spent over two hours there, which is hard for me to do, honestly. But I only spent $104. So even though it was more than I wanted to spend, I got way more than I thought I was going to. And I got a lot of different stuff, which is important. I just kind of felt like, all right, variation is key today. So I'm going to get in the car, head down the road, and keep going. I'll see you guys when I get to my next stop.